Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to create great looking DVD menus using DVD Architect and Photoshop Elements. First, let me show you the DVD menu I created in a project that I'm working on. What you're looking at here is DVD Architect, and I'm going to click the Preview button, which allows you to preview the DVD you're working on, and the buttons will work exactly like you've created. So we're going to click Preview, and you can see my DVD menu here. And using the remote control feature over here, I can move through the menu just like if it's in a DVD player and see if it works the way that I want. And if I want to play it, if, for example, if I want to play the intro chapter, all I have to do is click that link and it starts playing. Or to go back to the menu, I can click the menu button. So it looks pretty nice and I'm going to show you how I created that. First of all, let's close this. This is what the DVD looks like in DVD Architect. And to get this nice graphic here and this nice background and all these nice buttons, what I did is I went to Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, it doesn't matter which one you use, and actually created all the elements there. I created the background image, the title, and all the buttons. And then I saved that as a PNG, or you can also save it as a PSD file, and open that up in DVD Architect. And then once you open it up in DVD Architect, you have to create buttons on top of the text that you created in Photoshop Elements. And to create those buttons, all you do is you click Insert and click Empty Button. And that creates the empty button with the word text on it. And then you drag it on top of where you want the button to be. You resize it. You come down to Edit Text. And you just want to edit the text out completely so there's no words there. And then once you have that edited, you want to come over to Navigation and select where that button's supposed to go. For example, I'm going to click Action and it says destination is broken link and that's because I haven't told it where in the video that button should go. And all I have to do is go through and select any of the elements that are in my timeline for that button to go there. So I can click that which is the video file name and then because I put chapters in my video file I can choose the chapter where it goes. And then from there on it'll play. So I've done all this in DVD Architect and you can get great looking results. Let's do the preview again. So you can see what it looks like. And the great thing about the preview is you can actually test every element of your video to make sure it works. So you can test the next menu button to make sure it works, the previous menu. You can make sure that buttons go up and down, that they start where you want. This has just been a brief overview of how to create great looking menus for your DVDs using a program like Photoshop Elements or Photoshop to create the look of the menu and then importing that and then putting invisible buttons over all your text. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com. And you can also find a lot more in my uh, DVD, 101 Tips and Tricks Using Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at Amazon as well as my website.